Hey guys, this is the Gaming Robot, and welcome back once again to the Birch Forest Railway. It's definitely been a while. Um, I know I've been making content in the background, but that hasn't really been using a microphone, so apologies if I kind of stumble over my words. I'm, <laughs> I've gotten used to, the, to not talking whilst recording, or at least uh, talking while doing something. Never mind. Anyway, the thing here, we are here at Midparva. Um, there's the engineer's train that I can't seem to find a place for. And here is the units that we're going to be using today. It's the class 101 unit. Uh, we've got two power cars and a passenger car. So this thing's going to have quite some acceleration. And going back to this, this engineer's train, I cannot find a place for it. It's been in the carriage sidings over there. It's been in the carriage sidings where Shed Station was or is. It's been all the way in Village Terminus. I think I put it in the, um, the diesel depot. I cannot find a place for this. I'm going to need to build something for it. Or maybe just put it over there if I can find some space. I don't know. Anyway. The Class 101 units over here, they are part of Dragon's Modern British Diesel Pack, um, which I'll link in the description as per usual. All rolling stock and locos featured will be linked in the description, except for this one, which is part of a discontinued mod, and I do not have the rights, nor um, do I wish to uh, annoy the creator himself by distributing... Um, something that isn't mine. Also, as I keep randomly pressing it, you'll notice that I have Optify, which gives us nice looking grass textures, of course, like that, for example, and allows me to zoom in to make things look a little better. Anyway, um, so Class 101 unit, the reason it's here, it's been delivered to us from uh, the other railway company that operates between Village Terminus and uh, Dockside, and we're going to use it as a shuttle service uh, train from Midparva all the way to the newly rebuilt Land's End um, via Village Terminus. So without any more rambling or without further ado, let us get all our invisible and non-existent passengers on board, unless of course they're all viewers, in which case, hey, and let us head off. Should be good. I think I did some troubleshooting in the background, so... It obviously has the, uh, unfortunately, stock horn. The 101s have a very distinct horn as well. It's like a really nice, um... What is it? Like a lingering tone? It's like if you do it in a tunnel, it will echo throughout the entire tunnel. It's very nice, in my opinion. Um, but the 101s, as far as I know, there were many iterations and many versions, but they were bought in as single line working so were the days when all of the lines were being closed down to in order to cut costs and probably bring the country out of an enormous amount of debt as well as simplify things they were brought in to serve the smaller railways um, they still do on the heritage lines they're usually a good go-to resort um, for an easy working and in order to keep up maintenance and stuff like that it, it seems like a good go-to we are losing speed like high acceleration there we go so yeah in short um they lasted a long time all the way to the early 80s if i'm the 80s i guess um but unfortunately for me personally when playing when using a unit within train sim world uh 2020 like um you know i struggled with the gearing system you have to release the handbrake you have to watch the revs the gearing system it's like driving a car except it's a train and for me personally that doesn't that didn't implement well on keyboard on controller it might be different but i don't know because i haven't played controller anyway we are in talk tunnel and ironically i am talking we are getting a lot of speed so let's just let off a bit Oh, seems to be a, uh, a loco, a training platform, uh, too. Let's just begin to break as we approach the entrance exit to the tunnel. Entrance exit, depending which way you're going. Oh, gosh, this is, this is a lot of rambling. I do apologize. All right. High acceleration, dropping out, up, going up and down the gears, of course. 
I can use that reference now. There we go, nice stable cruise. Oh, bit of lag. Alright, let off. There we go. So we're kind of following a loose timetable um, in order to focus on at least something. So let's see, it's a three car unit, so I can stop right about the end of this coach. There we go, somewhere around here. There we go. And as we're just going to wait here for the loco to clear, uh, let's just have a look around, I guess. Just check everything. Yep, looks good. Still need to build the station building here. Um, yep, fully in the unit, fully in the station. There. Okay, cool. Uh, let's just get back into the train. And we'll wait for this loco to clear the section. Okay, we've been waiting here a bit. It looks like the points have been changed, so any minute now. Any minute now. Ah, yep, yeah, there's the whistle. There's the response. Oh, bit of stuff. And there it goes. Pretty sure you get like this. Oh, I guess we just wait for the signal in that case. Okay, looks like the uh, train has cleared the section. Points are still against us. Oh, no, we're good. Okay. Uh, let us tell the signalman that we've received the message. And let us proceed onwards to Land's End. Bit of acceleration just to get us going. Nice music in the background as per usual because <laughs> finding background music is a bit difficult as I've proven in my time lapses. Like it's so hard to find some good background music sometimes. Like you want instrumental music or do you want vocals? It doesn't seem like there's much in between at times. Also, um, the, well, this line has been recently built so there are some structures missing but so long as we take it nice and slow and relatively cautious, we should be okay in terms of getting the loco to the destination. I mean, the train to the destination. Alright, have we, uh, have we passed? Are we fully over? Yep, okay. Bit of crash. There we go. Alright. Should be clear for now. A nice donkey there. Also, the good thing with this 101 unit is that with three windows, this is technically also a driver's eye view. We need to do something about our viaduct. So we cross, we pass the the sheds. Nice tree here. Nice tree over there. A birch tree down there. Riveting on the tree, I don't. Going a bit too fast. So I'm just going to ease off the power a bit. I have noticed recently that um, on the 37 from the last video that there wasn't any sound really coming from it. In fact, to be honest, there's no sound really coming from this one either. So it's, it's I don't know, maybe it's an audio glitch. Maybe it's something I'm missing, something I 
Oh boy. Loading in new chunks. Something I've uh, forgotten, perhaps? I don't know. I'll... I'm professional YouTuber in here, you know. I'm complaining, I'm troubleshooting while on the fly. This is just me. Anyway, we should be... Yep, here's the uh, clearing. Bit tight, brushing the leaves around here. Oh, uh, yeah, definitely gliding with the leaves. Need to trim those back. It's quite nice around here. Got a nice river that runs alongside, and oh, we are losing speed. I'm gonna accelerate a bit. There we go. Always managing the throttle. It's a good idea. Music's still playing. It's pretty good. We are arriving, so let off the throttle and apply brakes, heavy brakes. There we go. And into Bay Platform 1. A bit slow. A bit of acceleration to keep us going. There we go. How are you liking this driver experience? Yep, just focusing on the throttle. It is a bit bare around here. I, I was more focused on the track plan than anything else at the moment, so excuse that. But this is a lot better than building diagonally about a hundred blocks above sea level. <laughs> like, that is crazy. Okay, let's go all the way to the end, as close as we can to the end of the platform. And then brakes. Check. Dead man pedal. Breaking and here, there we go. We have arrived. So the main feature of this entire station is the unique loop system here. You know, for a bit of variety and a, a shunter's nightmare. <laughs> um, so the plan, the idea is, any trains wanting to run round will come in through this end, loop around here, go into this head shunt then back down onto the train around about here. So this platform's extra long in order to facilitate five coaches and a standard size loco. Um, and we're basing it off the scale of the A1 tornado. And then after that, they take this once again, incredibly sharp point out and then all the way down to bridge terminus. Um, so yeah, it's, it's, it's a bit rough around the edges, but I wanted to show some progress, I guess. Anyway, we are going to roleplay a bit here. So you take the master key, which... Where are you? You are... Is this you? No, that's the brakes. Handbrake. AWS. Uh, one of these is gearing, one of these is reversa. Okay, let's assume there's a master key here somewhere. We're just going to take it. And we're going to do what every good driver does. And it's a bit buggy, but we're going to walk through the loco. There we go. And then we insert the key, we set the reverser into forward, and we let the engine warm up a bit and take a look around at the nice scenery. Look at that sheep. And then uh, maybe you want to look at this horse? I don't know. Um, what about the squid? <laughs> Alright, enough of that. Let us get back into the train. And uh, I think guard as well, so I'm also going to do this. Last call to Village Terminus, and then uh, Mid Parva, respectively. Get on the train. All right, let us head off. Ignore the bell. This thing has a bell for some reason. It's got that it's it's got that little bit of engine hum, but as soon as it gets into like a second, nut, of course. Now that I mention it, it's it's got to fix itself, of course. Anyway, we are leaving uh, Mipava. There's a sign over here that I want to. Yep, you can't even read it. Never mind. That's just a an inside joke between me and a friend. They know who they are. Anyway, we're passing over. Oh, passing over this 
S curve. I wonder if I could make this like a nice huge viaduct. That'd be interesting. With two engines powering, this is uh, got a lot of traction. So we need to once again let off a bit. It's not one to coast by the looks of it. That is a shame. Making some decent speed through this. Oh, there goes the chunks again. Eesh. It's because I've got two players, um, well, two accounts in the same world. Like, we wouldn't have this problem if it was just me loading the chunks, but because I've got a player account in the signal box who's doing some stuff, um, that's probably the issue. There's also a couple of visual glitches where the ballast of the track isn't loading, but you know, everything's fine. Everything's stable. Um, need to figure out what to do next. I could continue working on the station, I could do some personal projects, um, build a road somewhere around here. There we go. Okay, we gotta let off because it's pretty sharp curve, pretty sharp point. Look a tree, another tree, another tree. I, I don't know what's going on today. Like, this is. This is so unlike me. Okay, we need to lose a bit more speed. There's a donkey on the line. That's that's unfortunately going to be some paperwork. I I hope he's okay. But that's that's definitely paperwork, unfortunately. Um, right. Here's our crossing. These grass textures, seriously. <laughs> you gotta take this crossing nice and gently, like, it's slow. There we go. Eight miles an hour, it seems reasonable. And then we're just gonna accelerate a bit, thank you. Oh, looks like the points have been switched. We're going into a different platform now. This is good. Everything's going according to plan. Yeah, let's, uh... Oh, the lag. <laughs> yep. Train is not in the station yet. Not in the station yet. Is in the station. Okay, so let's just let off. Bit of braking. Other button, there we go. And brakes. There we go. We have arrived back at Village Terminus after a short stop, or a brief stop at uh, Van Zen. I don't know why I'm flying. I built bridges for a reason. How's this for a show? This look like a good photo. Sure. There we go. So around here, um, aside from poorly built roads, I have this little area out here marked off. Um, try I'm planning on putting a house there. Planning. Um, it's probably gonna be like a a one story bungalow with a nice garage, um, and it's probably gonna be for only one person living in there. Um, and I also need to redo the station building with a parking lot along here. I need to do a lot of things in this world, but I've definitely been taking my time um, trying to get things done. Oh, that's... Why, why are you looking at me? Oh, what are you doing? Jump. Say hi. No, don't do that. Okay, that's not messing with the camera again. Let us get back to what it was that we were doing. Bye, camera account. Alright. Onwards to the next thing. To mid -Parva. And we have the inevitable talk tunnel, so I hope you guys are ready. Acceleration. Let's do a bit of a thrash. Yeah, there we go. So... 
yeah, um, aside from some projects that, like, some stuff that I need to do on the railway, including building myself a house, rebuilding stuff that I've broken, and the usual terraforming, it's the nice part. Um, no, it's been, it's, railway's doing good, railway's doing well. Um, I am planning on doing the uh, mixed traffic gala video. I was going to do every video, every loco that's ever featured on the railway, but I realized that's like 20 plus locos. And we're a small railway here. We're on an island, we're kind of isolated. You know, it would be a bit difficult to re invite all those locos uh, from their respective railway companies back just to participate in a gala. It would be fun and it would be nice, but it's going to be very difficult. So in th instead, I was thinking of picking a few um, of the major highlights of the series. Um, so locos that have been like marking a milestone. Um, maybe the first steam loco, the first diesel locos, a double heading steam loco, double heading diesels, some uh, mixed traffics. That's also pretty good. Um, you know, like freight trains and stuff. Um, but yeah that will all happen eventually i've also got to do the um i'm slowing down so much i've also got to do the cyberpunk part two playthrough because um someone has expressed interest in seeing it at least i think they have and plus i kind of want to get that off um off the uh off my chest i guess um and just get it done because it's sitting there i want to get it done and out and Though Cyberpunk 2077 is a subject of much debate, I personally, from what little I experienced, I personally enjoyed it. Um, I didn't run into as many issues as what was being said and what was being shown, but I personally enjoyed it. So yeah, I'm gonna eventually, inevitably, focus on just getting filler content out and the part two playthrough. Coming increasingly slow. There we go. Um, and just see if I can get all that sort of stuff done. Why do I keep looking at the time? That doesn't matter. It's like quarter to three on a Monday afternoon. So, yeah. We are arriving back at Midpava. Everything appears to have gone to plan. Though I have my suspicions and a healthy dose of paranoia. So we shall pull up gently, pull great, gently to a stop, and then I shall continue talking some more, I guess. There we go. Full brakes. Check the train is safely in the station. Everyone leaves. Here's the engineer's train. Some carriage sightings, all the important stuff. So uh, where can I view this from? Back where I started, I guess. Not that. So I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. I apologize if it was the usual rambling and uh, improv kind of thing. I really just wanted to get this video out there, test some um, some concepts such as other locos moving on the line. Um, hopefully, I can be more consistent with that and more efficient. You may have noticed that we switch platforms on the way back. I'm trying to create a system where locos coming towards Shed Station will go on this platform and locos going away from Shed Station will go on to the further platform away. So it's just trying to create some realism and some details and stuff for you guys to enjoy. Um, but aside from that, the usual stuff, uh, leave a like if you enjoyed, if you want to see this as and when, if you want to see more stuff like this as and when it comes out, don't forget to subscribe, ring the bell so that you can see when I upload, if. Um, <laughs> I am a little inconsistent, I do apologize. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.